Hey guys, Aaron here. Today I'm going to be doing an update video on my Nerf arsenal. I'm going to be showing you all the different Nerf blasters and other Nerf products that I have. So without further ado, let's just jump in here and get started. We'll start with the Mega Guns. I got a Centurion, two Big Shocks, a Roto Fury, four Magnuses, two Cyclone Shocks, a Thunderbow, one Lightning Bow, two Snapfires, two Glow Shots, two Triads, a Bow Strike, four Jolts, two Double Downs, a Barricade, a rapid fire, two battle master axes, a long shot, one, two, three recons, a stampede, two night finders, a Vulcan, one, two, three, four, five mavericks, one alpha trooper, two swarm fires, one, two, three titans, two deploys, two strike fires, two sharp shots, a speed load, a barrel break, two protons, a vigilon, a nitron, Two Praxes, a Pyragon, Diatron, a Retaliator, a Thunderblast, one, two, three Long Strikes, an Apollo, two Zeuses, an Atlas, and a Rival Chaos. I also have a Modulus, the Ion Fire and the Grip Pistol, the Battle Scout, two Fireflies, the Flash Blast, Thunderstorm, two Tidal Tubes, a Blaze Fire, two Ravens, two Stripes, a Dual Strike, a Raider, two older Dark Tag Hyperfires, one, two, three Rough Cuts, a Sharp Fire, two Rhino Fires, a Stockade, two Sling Strikes, a Hail Fire, a Rapid Strike, a Demolisher, a Marauder Sword. Let's take a break. This has been going on for far too long and we still got quite a ways to go. Just gonna answer some of my most frequently asked questions when it comes to my Nerf arsenal. One of the first questions that I always get is where do I get my blasters? About 75% of the blasters you see here are used. I usually get them off of websites such as eBay or classified websites such as Kijiji or Craigslist. This is called Pegboard. You can pretty much get it from any hardware store. I usually get them for about six or seven bucks a sheet. Then I just nail them to one by twos and then nail the whole sheet onto the wall. Another question I get asked a lot is what is my favorite blaster? And that would have to be the Big Bad Bow. So next up is a bunch of the Zombie Strike products. Here is the Brain Saw, the Crossfire, the Duminator, two Sling Fire, four Double Strikes, a Bio Squad Blaster, a Hammer Shot, a Side Strike, a Rip Shot, the Fuse Fire, the cross cut, a long shot, two sledge fires, a flip fury, and a clear shot. I also got a zombie strike saw blade, the Z wrench, two machetes, three Z bats, zombie strike two by four, a swift justice knife, and an enforce knife and shield. Got a couple other melee weapons here. I have two vantage swords. This one I just painted red, and then also a strike blade, a shadow fury sword, and a battle master mace. Next I got some Boomco blasters. This is the Covenant Carbine. Then I got the Plasma Pistol, and I also have the regular pistol. And then I also have two MA5B assault rifles. I have a couple of Rebel products for some of my short films. This is the Agent Bow and the Four Victory Blaster set and the Flipside Bow. All right, next up here, I'll show you some of the Star Wars Nerf products I got. Here is a Stormtrooper Blaster, First Order Stormtrooper Pistol, Ray's Blaster, Han Solo's Blaster, Chewbacca's Blaster. This is Jin Erso's Blaster and Captain Cassian's Blaster from Star Wars Rogue One and a Death Trooper Blaster. I also have two Nerf lightsabers as well. Doomlands Blasters, this is the Long Arm, a Lawbringer, a Vagabond, and a Double Dealer. A Elite Hyperfighter, the Tri-Strike, two Mastodons. This here is a life-size 3D model of a ray gun, which I used for Nerf Means Call of Duty Zombies 2. It's not a Nerf Blaster by any means, but I still hang it on the wall in here. Then this is a life-size model of a ray gun Mark II. I haven't painted this one or glued it all together yet, but I'm gonna do that in the future and we'll probably have a video on this as well. Hopefully sometime in the future, I can use this for another video. I also have several modded guns. First one here is a modded Strife by Drac. Three modded Blasters by Deceptic Creepers custom. It's got a modded long shot here, a modded big bad bow, and a modded sling fire. I have four modded blasters by a modded YouTuber called Blaster Mods. This is a modded night finder and a rough cut, and then a modded strong arm and a demolisher. I've also modded two guns. I have a modded hammer shot here with an orange Modworks kit, and I also painted a Vulcan as well. Then I have a Vortex Howler, the Dude Perfect Nerf products. This is the Perfect Vortex. Perfect Smash Football, the Perfect Toss Air Tails, the Perfect Shot Hoop Set, and the Perfect Slam Disc. All right, to finish off what I got, I got 10 Blazing Bows, 
and two big bad bows. These are my favorite blasters to have a Nerf War with. That's why I have so many of the same one. This box here is full of attachments. I got some drums in here. And just a bunch of attachments. I just store all the extra little pieces that can't fit on any of the blasters. Here's where I store all my mags and darts and everything. So there's a bin full of drums and clips and magazines. Elite darts. These are coup starts that I just bought off of eBay, recommended by Lord Draconical. Up here, I got my vortex discs and my high impact rounds for the rival, as well as the dart tag darts and the boomco darts. Here's all the mega darts and the demolisher missiles, a bunch of fan mail, and some of the dude perfect attachments. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so I thought I'd just give you guys a full 360 of the nerf room here. Coming around and then back to the beginning. I also got a couple other Nerf stuff here. I have a whole bunch of goggles. I got a red and blue rival mask. I have some zombie strike grenades, the bio squad foam, a face mask, and Nerf walkie talkies. Well, guys. That's my Nerf arsenal. I always get a lot of comments in my video of people saying that they wish they had this many Nerf blasters. I actually would not recommend having that many. It can add up and be quite expensive. As well, they take up a lot of space. I couldn't think of a better way to store them. Maybe you can put them in bins or boxes, but then they would be impossible to get to and you would never even be able to use them all. So if you do want to have a lot, you almost need something similar like this to store them. I have so many blasters because this is actually my job. I do YouTube full time and 90 to 99% of all my videos involve Nerf guns. So I need a wide variety of blasters and my most popular videos, the Nerf gun game videos, need a new 20 blasters each video. As well, they make an awesome backdrop. So I wouldn't actually recommend having that many unless you have a specific purpose that you need them for. Maybe you like collecting them or you're in charge of some sort of Nerf club, or something along those lines, and I understand. But if you just want to have Nerf guns, I wouldn't recommend having that much. And in the end, having just a bunch of stuff isn't gonna make you happy. Stuff can't make you happy, whether it be Nerf guns or video games or whatever you want, stuff's not gonna make you happy, so. I don't know, I always worry when making a video like this, it makes people just wanna have more stuff. I want more, I want more, I want more. So much excess of stuff, of toys or Nerf guns or whatever. And I just wanna clarify that I have this many blasters for a reason, and I do a video like this because I wanna show off all the different type of Nerf blasters that there are, and I get requested quite a bit to show off the Nerf arsenal. So, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making this video, and hopefully the arsenal will keep growing as I keep shooting different videos. I have a whole bunch of different ideas in the works right now and I'm constantly working on a different project at all times. Again, I do this for my full-time job and I can't wait to see what the future brings. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.